Hi everyone, this is Brittany Bond and welcome back to the podcast. Today I'm going to talk about the the other side of what happens uh, when we wake up in a spiritual sense. So, so many of us, I mean, if you're looking for spirituality and you're trying to wake up, you are probably in the camp of waking up is the best thing ever. I want to wake up and I need to figure out what's going on because you're having some sort of experience you know, you're feeling something in your body, you're seeing something, you're getting some downloads, and you're like, I need to figure out what's going on. Or you just have this calling inside of you that you're meant for something bigger than what's currently happening in your 3D reality. <clears throat> and you would like to know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> you know, like, what are, what am, why am I here? What am I meant to be doing on my timeline? Like, how can I make an impact in the world? How can I become better like you know my more authentic self um and so that leads you down a path of waking up and hopefully becoming more embodied like dropping into your body owning who you are and then allowing yourself to shine as your authentic self in the world i just want to take a deep breath on that one i invite you to take a deep breath with me So the thing that people don't talk about that often is um, the backlash that comes. So in the backlash that comes in the form of people resisting us waking up or just the confusion of I don't f- like when you wake up, I don't fit in anymore in my life. And I've been helping some clients that I'm coaching right now on this and I get a lot of uh, DMs about this on Instagram. So why does this happen? Like, let's take the first scenario. People having a negative reaction when we wake up. The reason why this happens is not because they don't support you, they don't love you. These people probably really do love you very much. But when you wake up um, at a a more accelerated race pace a more accelerated pace than they do then the vibrational like you literally are going on a higher vibration this is not saying that you're a better person in any way it's just it is like literally everything's vibration so you by becoming more aware of yourself becoming more aware of who you are and what your place is in the universe you are literally becoming lighter and raising your vibration to um, a higher degree so if everything's energy and everything's vibration when you r- raise your vibration and your the gap between you and the people that you love becomes <clears throat> a lot bigger and when you imagine like to to they have this illustration of like a cog in a wheel like when it's spinning like a cog in a, a wheel is spinning and then when you're changing gears so say you want to go up a gear or down a gear in a car um, you have to have a cog that matches in order to spin in a certain degree and and you know shift gears if you are shifting too fast for someone then that can literally not line up so that when you're around each other the the vibrational difference like doesn't feel good in your body When you're waking up, um, initially what happens is this overwhelming feeling of like connection to the universe, to everything, like everything that is in the universe, that, that, that includes people, dogs, animals, yourself. And so you have this awareness that, yeah, we are all one, we are all connected. And with that usually comes this time period of euphoria. It's just like happiness, connection, like unconditional love because that's really unconditional love is the vibration of the universe and when you become aware of it you allow it to go through you more and you are a vessel for this positive higher vibration energy so in your reality like everything's great you're just like we are all one i'm i'm connected i'm tapped in i understand what my path is i'm understanding how to be my authentic self or i'm figuring it out you know like things are happening things are moving and i'm like excited because you know you're able to 
grow your consciousness and that is the point of why we're here is to remember that we're all connected remember that we are all one up there in the all that is that is spirit and we just came here down on these timelines to voluntarily forget that in order to grow our consciousness in some way and while we're in the process of re-remembering who we are and how we're all connected we grow our consciousness by being separated from that for a minute it's so simple and yet so hard to explain because so many so many people want to make it more complicated but that's really all it is is like we are all connected so anyways that's a whole other thing but that is the structure of reality um which is something that i study all the time and i love it and this is what i think we're trying to figure out when we wake up but because this you are as this person who is waking up is like super excited and like on a higher vibration you don't notice at first that there is a vibrational difference between you and the people around you. You're just like shining bright, sending your vibration, your unconditional love out there. And so you feel comfortable in your body interacting with these people and everyone, everyone, like strangers, like people that used to annoy you, like everything's just like love and, and bliss. They notice, they feel this shift in their body. And a lot of us, um, a lot of times uh, this can come, it, it can come across in their body as I'm being left behind because maybe subconsciously, like maybe consciously they, they don't realize that like, oh, this person's growing their spirituality and their vibration is raising and we're no longer compatible. Like our, the vibrational gap is getting too big for us to have things in common. But what they feel in their body is uncomfortableness. They start taking things personally. They think that you are in some ways leaving them out or leaving them behind or judge they feel that you are judging them even if you're giving them unconditional love and support and just like vibing high they can feel and rightfully so that they're getting left behind because they literally are getting left behind from a vibrational standpoint but that's not your fault like we all grow in different ways on our timeline and you have to respect the timeline and let e each person choose how quickly or how slowly they want to wake up and re-remember why we're all here. So that's like something that I had to really learn as I even came up with this phrase, like you have to respect the timeline because so many of us want to help each other wake up because it's like, I want, it, I want you to play with me. So this gets to the second part. It can start feeling uncomfortable in our bodies when we've get gotten we've like settled into this unconditional love and we're like this is more like a normal thing for the energy and the higher vibration to go through our bodies and we're around people longer and longer who don't match us vibrationally we start feeling really lonely and we start feeling like we start feeling that uncomfortableness in our bodies like oh you know the cog the cogs in the wheel are are not going in a way that is working for us like some one is going too fast one's going too slow and their their things are getting fucked up <laughs> uh, but this i'm talking about this from a vibrational standpoint like how you feel energetically around people because this is something and then this is like a whole other thing because you can't really talk about this like if you try and say it, feel, it doesn't feel good in my body hanging out with you because I'm a higher vibration. People are definitely not going to take that well and they're going to judge that. But this is where we have to really be our authentic selves. And this is why I have like chosen to spend a lot of my time alone recently is because when Faraday and I, my boyfriend and I got together, our, because we're both super awake um, and now very embodied like us coming together has helped us grow a lot and then we are constantly mirrors for each other and when you have someone who is awake with someone who's awake you're just like bouncing that back and forth all day long to the point where we're both like "Woo, maybe we need to like go get a massage and just go to the gym like let some of this energy off um and sometimes we even have to like be apart from each other just because the the growth and consciousness is so accelerated when you're around each other but it's also so amazing because we have each other like a lot of people are waking up and be dropping into their bodies and they have no one in their lives and they see Faraday and I online and they're like wow at least I know someone's out there you know and I'm like "Ooh, I am so grateful that I have someone in my life that I love like my, the love of my life that is with me every single day 
and we are on the same page and we are growing our consciousness at the same rate and it feels really good to be around each other all the time. Um, okay, 99.9%, you know, you know what I mean. But like in general, from a spiritual perspective, it feels really good. Of course, everyone, you know, has times where they're upset at each other or there's miscommunication or whatever, whatever. But I would say that, you know, I have been in many relationships in my life and a lot of them I felt very lonely in my relationships because, you know, the person was super emotionally there and physically there and wanted to connect with me, but it didn't feel good in my body because I wanted to talk about the structure of reality and like remember more why I'm here and like, you know, do things to help other people wake up and come into their bodies and just shine as this light in the world and they didn't want to do that they wanted to do like the normal 3d life and just pretend that it's okay to just and i'm like everyone's allowed to have whatever timeline they are but this this is the thing that's super interesting is if you're dating someone and you're more spiritually awake and you're like you're like you have woken up to what is the structure of reality and like some of these bigger subjects that are at the core of everything and your partner is not awake, it actually, because we live in a society where most people are still asleep, I mean, this is the transformational age, so slowly and quickly people are going to start waking up. But right now, the majority of people are still very much asleep. It is harder for you, not harder, I mean, everything's relative and whatever you want to make it, but I would say that for most of us, our programming is we feel guilty for wanting to break up with someone because they're not growing at the same pace as as us spiritually. Like I was married for six years to someone who was a very good person. I mean, in the end, overall, like we all got our problems, but like he was someone who really tried to show up for me as a husband and a man and a friend. I loved him as a person, but I was not in love with him anymore. And we were not growing our consciousness at the same rate at all. Like it was so painful for me to be around him a lot of times because it was just such a different vibrational match. And I had to sit him down and say, I don't want to do this anymore. Like I, we were married for six years and there wasn't anything wrong with our marriage on the surface. You know, like, no, I said, I said to him, I was like, I'm not cheating on you. I haven't fallen in love with someone else. Like, I just can't do this anymore. And like, I need us to like, be able to unfold into our, you know, most authentic selves. But for me, I need to be able to do that separately. Because, and, you know, and it was also just, I wasn't in love with him. Like, I am in love personally, everyone gets to choose whatever love is for them. So again, this is like, totally subjective so like don't take what I'm doing as what you should do but I'm just saying for me I want to grow at the same pace as my partner and of course like we're all on our own journeys and I'm not saying that where it might mean my partner can be doing exactly the same things all the time that would get super boring what I'm saying is that in the bigger picture I know that I'm here to do very big epic movement in the world in bringing in this new earth and this new society that we're all craving in our souls our deepest parts of our souls and I choose as my standard to have my partner be there alongside me as a leader doing the same thing so you get to choose like your 3d reality reflects whatever you choose as your standard So you can choose to have people in your life that are growing at the same speed as you spiritually, materially, physically, if physical things is important for you. Like you get to choose whatever those standards are. And you also get to choose that when you you know your standards that you actually stick up for them within yourself and within your life and your timeline. Because if you don't, it's only going to hurt you. Like at the time when I was breaking up with my ex-husband, the reason why it took me six years, even though I knew after one year that I wanted to break up with him was because I didn't want to hurt his feelings. But then I'm like, how do you 
live and grow grow with someone when you don't want to like that doesn't that's not in the end going to help him at all like it's everything is vibration and energy and we can always feel when someone wants to be there or not just one second after once in So I invite you to take up space in your life and I hope that this helps you to realize that it's okay <laughs> whatever timeline you're on in your spiritual process and whatever is going on with you in waking up or becoming embodied it's okay like you are on path you are doing great as long as you are you know, doing the work and facing yourself, like facing the negative beliefs when they come up. If you get triggered, like really looking at it in whatever way is meant for you, whether that's through journaling, um, through talking to a friend, talking to a coach, whatever that is, but like really face your shit and integrate these parts of yourself so that you can become fully embodied and remember, you know, more and more why we are here and why you are here and being that piece of the puzzle that you're meant to be in the bigger timeline. And take up space in the sense of like, choose who you want to have with you on this epic adventure that we're all on right now. Like it's a privilege for people to be in your life and like really value yourself, like value who you are and what you're meant to do. Because if you don't value yourself and like create that space for yourself to your it's harder to rise up into your full powder power and it's also harder for the people who are meant to be in your life to find you because when you're hanging out with people that don't match your vibration they mask it or they lower it and i'm not saying like get rid of your family and friends i'm just saying be aware and also don't make yourself to be the bad guy just because you're waking up like you're doing great and also, it's okay if you don't want to hang out with the certain friends anymore or if you want to, you know, separate with love and spend less time with certain family members if they are literally making you not feel good in your body and not, and, and like, you know, not helping you raise your vibration in the sense that, like, just honor whatever feels good for you and honor whatever you need to do in your body and it will always work out. But I, I hope that by sharing these things, it helps you to realize that it's okay, like, wherever you're at in the timeline. Like, Faraday and I have, like, a very small, <laughs> limited group of friends that we feel good to hang out with in our bodies. And we are calling in more and more and more because we've gotten to a point where, like, we've woken up so much that it's like we can see through everything. And I will tell you that most people subconsciously, they don't want to wake up as much as Faraday and I have right now because... I think there's some part of them that knows that when they remember why they're here, it gets harder and harder to do 3D things. It gets harder and harder to live in the system, in the matrix today. And But the whole point is that we are slowly and quickly shifting into a new world order and a new vibration and everything. And so those of us that are waking up, we are waking up early, quote unquote, because who knows what time is in the timeline but we are some of the first to wake up because we are meant to do something with that we're meant to like help in some way help bring in this new earth and this higher vibration and like actually make a difference in the world in whatever way is our authentic self shining so it's a gift you know, it's a gift if we use it in a way where it is a gift, you know, you can, I've had days even today where I was like, wow, existence is hard right now. <laughs> Just like existing right now in the timeline where I'm at, it feels rough in my body because, you know, the world hasn't caught up yet. All the things that I know are going to manifest haven't quite come yet. And all of this is beautiful because, you know, it is what it is and there's a reason for it. And I also enjoy my timeline, but that doesn't mean that I don't like, you know, wish I had more friends that I could talk to about all these things or understand why it's all happening at this time on this timeline in this way, you know, 
and they say that um, uh, that we understand things mostly by looking back on the timeline and being like, ah, okay, yeah, I understand why my higher self had me do it th this way, and you know that worked out perfectly. Like when I look at it from this reference point, it's all perspective. And if we can just keep responding positively to everything that comes in and keep asking ourselves, how is this happening for me? And how does this help me learn more about myself and like why I'm here on this timeline? Then it will always work out. And it's always something that you can transform into a positive thing. <sighs> so sending you guys so much love. And this is Brittany Bond reporting live from Copenhagen. We're going to be coming to Europe soon for the summer. And I'm super excited to um, organize some meetups. Basically, we're going to release our course, the New Earth Toolkit. And this is everything, like onboarding everyone and helping them get these tools to help them get into this higher vibration. And then from there, we're going to do meetups and uh, d like immersions in Berlin and then retreats in Austria. We have a whole summer planned and it's all unfolding very beautifully. So if you guys would like to be part of that, always um, follow Faraday and I on Instagram. I have my link, the links for both of us in our Spotify and YouTube, however you're, con or Apple, however you're consuming this. So just sending you lots of love and please take up space in your life. You are worth it and you are very much loved by me and your higher self and the universe. Okay, bye. Have a good day. <laughs>